Hello all. Today I will be explaining how to visualize the real time trajectory path using markers in robot operating system. So this can be useful to show the simulation of applications like spraying robot, painting robot, disinfection robot, etc. to mark the places covered by the robot. So let's start. Assuming that you already have a mobile robot package with you. If you don't have, go to my previous tutorial videos of autonomous navigation. So, Mob Robo description is the name of the package for mobile robot. Build your workspace and then we have to launch the mobile robot in Gazebo world. For that, I am launching my launch file that type pros launch space package name space gazebo dot launch the robot is loaded in gazebo world next we want to visualize this in rvis which is a visualization tool change the frame to odom then add robot model you will be able to see the robot here if all the TF uh, everything is published uh, correctly so next we are going to use the odometry information that the feedback information from this to mark the trajectory followed by the robot so we are just visualizing the odometry rostopic space echo space slash odom you are able to see the odometry information we can see the position information x, y, z and also we can see the orientation information. Using the position information x, y and z coordinate, we are going to mark the trajectory in RVIS. So let's start with this package. This is a Rose Wiki page. I will provide the link in description box. This will mark the line of a rotating helix. So we are making use of this code to mark the trajectory of a mobile robot using odometry information. So copy the code. Next, we need to create a CPP file inside our package and then paste this code there. So in our package, create a folder called SRC. In SRC, we will keep all our CPP files. Then uh, right click and then open terminal. You have to create a text file here, cpp file here, for that type gedit space name of the cpp file. Paste the code here and then save. This code is a publisher which publishes the visualization markers of a rotating helix. We have to change it to publish the visualization markers of odometry position. So we have to change the frame to odom first. Next, we are going to run this particular code to check whether it is working. The publisher is publishing points, line strip and line list. Three of them are in different colors, red, green and blue. Okay, let's run this code. For that, type rose run space name of package space name of the CPP file points underscore and underscore lines is the name of the cpp file i will provide the commands in the description box but the problem uh, is the file is not executable so we want to make the cpp file executable i will be showing the steps copy these lines paste in cmake uh, list dot text in the package and then confirm the location of the cpp file and also the name of the cpp file name of the node also include directories at the line under catkin underscore package then just cross check in package.xml file that it had build dependency and run dependency of row cpp also in cmake list.txt change required to required components row cpp save everything and then we can try running the node again and check whether it is executable now. Captain make the workspace first. 
if it is uh, successful you can proceed we have to see the visualization in hours uh, for that type rosco and presenter to run the master node and then in another terminal type arvis and presenter so change the frame to odom we have given the frame name to odom in the code then add then add marker so if a visualization marker topic is published we can visible the particular markers in rvs so we are going to run the code ros run space package name space points and lines so we are able to see the rotating helix in rvs our aim is to visualize odometry like this so going back to the code points underscore and underscore lines and change accordingly this is now just a publisher node we have to add a subscriber node which subscribes odometry information so add the header for odometry and then add a subscriber which subscribes odometry so add this line and change the topic name and make this a subscriber object the topic name is odom when we launch gazebo the gazebo will publish odom information so we have to subscribe it here and extract the x y and z coordinates and when odometry is subscribed it will call a counter callback function so that we can write the relevant steps when uh, it subscribes the odometry so we are writing the counter callback function instead that we are just printing uh, a line to print the x coordinate of the position of the mobile robot so ros info percentage f comma name of the extracted information and we have to do few more steps so our aim is to make this node to subscribe and publish every time inside the while loop add the line rows colon colon spin once bracket open bracket close semicolon similarly outside the loop we have to add the line rows colon colon spin bracket open bracket close semicolon and type return zero semicolon so when we run this code the publisher will publish a marker of rotating helix continuously and also this will subscribe odometry from the mobile robot continuously build the workspace using catkin make command if it is successful the changes done in cpp will be reflected in our code roster and space package name space name of the uh, cpp file so we can see that the odometry is subscribed and displayed in terminal and also uh, rotating helix uh, we can see it is published the publisher is publishing points line strip and line list points are indicated using green dots line strip uh, using blue and line list using red so next we are going to use the odometry information and then extract x y and z and then give it to visualization markers to publish so uh, when it is subscribed it will call the counter callback function inside the loop uh, x equal to the extracted pos information from the odometry y equal to extracted y information uh, position from odometry we can uh, see the topic inside that uh, x will x value will come under post dot post dot position so uh, we have to initialize this as a global variable so initializing it before all loops float x equal to 0.0 similarly y and z and go inside the publisher infinite loop and here they are publishing information 
uh, for the rotating helix points lines and line strips so we have to change it to odometry x y and z so change uh, the point p object dot x to x y and z x is the information extracted from odometry x position similarly y and z delete the irrelevant things delete the loop delete the end uh, bracket also correct the indents line list need two points so just we are giving a random second point just to see the output just giving x and y uh, plus 1 so delete uh, the brackets and f after making changes change directory to new workspace and then catkin underscore make if the build is successful you can proceed by running the code points underscore and underscore lines for that type restaurant space package name space points underscore and underscore lines so this is our output a line between the odometry x y set and x plus 1 y plus 1 set is created we are trying to tell you the mobile robot using tell you of twist keyboard move the robot using keys you will be able to see that the line is changing with the robot so but uh, the previous points or the previous trajectory covered by the robot is not displayed so we have to make some more changes we are deleting the second point of the line list and also cut the line of codes which is the initialization of uh, visualization markers and paste before the while loop so that we will be able to see the previous points also and new points and new line traces will be added to the previous points correct the indents then build the code again using catkin underscore make every time you build the code after this and type if the build is successful then type restaurant space package name space uh, points underscore and underscore lines then you will be able to see the information uh, move the robot using keyboard telio then you will be able to see the line traces also green indicates the points and the blue indicate the line and red indicates the line strips so you are able to see the trajectory followed by the mobile robot similarly if you are publishing only the points you will be able to see the green information only if you are able to uh, publish only the blue that is the line strip uh, you will be able to see only the line traces similarly you can publish line list only also line list need two points otherwise it shows a error currently publishing only points and then building again and then run the code rostrum space package name space name of the node so we can see only the green points line traces are not published now and also line lists are not published now similarly we can publish everything just to see the output currently we have published only uh, line strip and line list so traces is shown in blue so as per your requirement you can use this for trajectory tracing uh, row simulation of ground cleaning robot or uh ground uh, spraying robot or anything we can also adjust the second point to get some information on the uh, z axis also so according to our requirement we can change accordingly next we are 
going to publish just the line list only one point we will get one error but the output seems uh, good okay, this is another type of output always a cat can make and post run so uh, we need to uh, we have a blinking error now to solve that we have to add one more point to the line list for that take the code again define one more point after the first line list addition of point and then cat can make and then ross run the command so this is the final output it is publishing line strip blue which is the line tracing and also it is publishing line list we have two points so this is the output thank you for watching